it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun video. We're gonna go over the 10 questions to ask yourself before turning your hobby into a business. Now, before we jump into this, I wanted to remind you the Thermoflex Plus is on sale on our website right now. It's 30% off through February the 3rd of 2021. The link is in the description box, but you don't have to purchase from us for us to do our videos. Okay, so I compiled this list of questions. See me looking down, it is because I am looking at the questions. So just so you know, there's a lot going on and I don't have them all memorized. And these are things that I had to ask myself before my hobby became my full-time job. Number one, how much time do you have to devote? Or is it something that you can do part-time? Because part of owning a business is, yes, you do have to devote a lot of time to it, but do you want it to interfere with everything else going on in your life? Or can it interfere with those things going on? You know, you don't want to end your marriage or your relationship, you know, to chance owning your own business. You know what I'm saying? Number two, is your hobby profitable? Okay, so what I mean by this is like, okay, say you're doing woodworking and you're building furniture. Now, whenever you factor in time, cost of materials, are you making anything off of it? If you're making money already off of it, then it is leads you to think that yes, you can turn it into a business. Number three, what will you need to invest to start? Okay, so say you're a videographer and you're filming right now off of your basic camera, you're making a little bit of money and you're wanting to do more with it. Well, to get bigger and better jobs, you're going to have to invest some money. So you need to know what equipment costs. What are you willing to put into it to see what you get out of it? Okay. Number four, how will you market your business? So there are ways to pay for advertisement on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter. You can pay to get your ads seen. Do you know your audience to know how to market to them? What is the best ways to market to them? How much money are you willing to invest in marketing? Because, you know, if you're not, Joe Smo next to you might be willing to and you might lose your market share. So that's a good question to ask yourself. Okay, number five, do you see your business growing? Okay, so with what you're doing now, say you're making shirts at home and you're making 10 shirts a month. You're thinking about turning this into a part-time or full-time business. Are you turning away jobs? Can you handle what you're doing now? Those are questions that you need to know because, you know, if you're barely getting those 10 shirts and you're not turning anything away, you may not see much growth. You see what I'm saying? And it's just to make you understand, do you see growth? Because trends change and what you're doing now may not work in five years. Number six, this is probably one of the most important things. Are you willing to turn your hobby into work? So, right now you might love painting. Painting watercolor pictures. And you want to turn it into a business. Well, at that point, it doesn't and isn't all fun and games. If someone commissions something for you to create it, you have to create it. You can't be like, well, I have a creative block and I can't do it right now. No, you got deadlines, you gotta get it done. So. And then sometimes when you do that, that takes the fun out of it. And are you willing to do that? You know? Number seven, do you know your audience or market well? Okay, so what I mean by that is, what is your customer base? Who is buying from you? Who do you see purchasing your items? Because knowing that will teach you how and where to market to people. And these are things you need to know before you just um, jump out there and be like, oh, we're starting a business because it's harder than that. Okay, number 
Eight, what is the competition like for your hobby? Okay, so like for me, I do vinyl. Everybody under the sun does vinyl, or at least that's what it seems like. You go onto Facebook and under every marketplace, it's like, hey, we've got shirts for sale. We got this for sale. We got that for sale. So there's a, my market right now is oversaturated. Is your market oversaturated? Because if your market's oversaturated and you don't have anything to differentiate you between the competition, you may not be able to make it. And this is, you know, this isn't me trying to be pessimistic. This is me being like, okay, this is honest questions to ask yourself. You know, <laughs> business doesn't want you to be hopeful. You need to look at things. The way that I have always looked at things is, you know, plan for the worst and hope for the best because you need to know what the major risks are before you can even think about reward. Okay, number nine. This is another extremely important one. Do your family, friends, or friends support your business or your hobby? So, does your husband gripe that you don't have a dinner on the table because you're making shirts? Does your wife complain that you're not cutting the lawn because you're making a charcuterie board? You see what I'm saying? Because these problems, if you're already having problems as it, with it being a hobby, it might make things worse. Just FYI. And number 10, last but definitely not least, do you know what you need to start a legal business in your area? And what I mean by that is not just, oh, hey, pay me in cash. I won't charge you tax. No, you need to run a legal and legit business. You need tax ID. You need to file your taxes. You need to take sales tax if your area calls for it because those things are important to helping your community grow. And I am all for people doing business. I am not a supporter of people doing business under the table. My personal opinion, you can take it or leave it, but you need to know what it's required to start a business in your state because you got to have a DBA. You've got to, whether you're going to be a sole proprietor, have an S corp or an uh, LLC. There's so many different options out there. You need to understand those things before you just jump right out there. Because even if you try to slide it past the IRS, a lot of times people get caught doing that as well. So you need to make sure you do things the legal and right way. So that's the 10 questions you need to make sure you're doing or if you're thinking about starting turning your hobby into a business these are important questions to ask yourself so if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below and if you hit the notification bell icon next to it that will notify you when i post new videos so i guess that's it we will see y'all later bye